This lesson is a second in a two-part lesson series about how to recreate raster logos. And in our previous lesson, we learned how to create this outer shape using um, the rounded rectangle effect and offset paths. Now in the second part of this lesson, we're going to focus on how to create the stems of these, these leaves here. So I'm going to get my pen tool and I'm just going to draw, draw the first stem. I'm going to increase the width a bit. And I'm going to use the variable um, width stroke for this. If you go to the width tool, it looks like a little seahorse. And you click anywhere inside on, along the stroke, you can, you can change the profile of the stroke. So I make it really thin on one side and kind of thicker at the other end. Now if you hold down the Option key, while you drag on one side of the stroke, you can have there be different profiles on either side. You'll notice up here in the Control Panel that there's already a bunch of pre-built width profiles that you can choose from. And number four, it's just a, like a basic triangle shape. That's the one that I think is the closest to what we want for this purpose. And you'll notice it automatically increased the stroke weight. So I'm just going to decrease that a little bit to get it back roughly to where it should be. And I'm going to do the same thing over here with these other ones. Just going to change them all to that triangular shape with width profile number four. Now you'll notice that this one it, it doesn't have the same shape as the original one. It's sort of flat here on the bottom. This one's kind of got a 45 degree angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the brush that we used for that. In the control panel up here, you see right next to the variable width profiles, there's the brush definition. And we're going to change our brush definition to a calligraphy brush. And the way that you get to those is under brushes, in the flyout menu, open brush library, and then artistic, and then you see all the list of all these different brushes, artistic brushes over here. You can also get to those artistic brushes by going to window, brush libraries, artistic. And so there's a bunch of different brushes here to choose from, but the one that works the best for this purpose is the 20 point flat brush that gives us more of that that um, straight edge along the bottom that I'm looking for, and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna decrease this um, just a little bit. So depending upon your application, you know, with the shape of the the brush that you're trying to create or the, the shape of the stroke that you're trying to create, you might need to use the variable width profile using this tool, but you could also use a custom brush or a, an artistic brush. Either one will work depending on the effect that you're after.